Protesters gathered in front of a Chick-fil-A in Portsmouth multiple times this week, alleging discriminatory practices. The Portsmouth NAACP has since sat down with the owner and Chick-fil-A corporate to find a resolution. 10 on your side's Asa Tolliver has details on what sparked the outrage and what's being done to fix it. I was at the Chick-fil-A on Wednesday where protesters and the Portsmouth NAACP president, James Boyd, gathered in the crosswalk. Now that was the second day of protests after the mother of two former employees spoke out about what they experienced. Deshawn Goss says both her daughters had worked at that Chick-fil-A for over five years and held management positions under the old owner. But she says when the new owner, Hunter Caudill, took over in March, her black daughters were slowly replaced with white employees. Goss says both of her daughters ultimately quit over the past few weeks because of the hostile work environment. She took to Facebook about her daughter's experiences and the post went viral. She says after her post, several other employees came forward with similar experiences they deemed discriminatory. If we don't stand for something, we'll fall for anything. This could be your, ch your child, your grandchild, your family member. You know, fair is fair. You know, we don't, we don't want someone to come into the community and destroy the self-esteem of these young people children who are out here trying to work and trying to do something for themselves. Boyd says the NAACP decided to protest to turn customers away after trying to contact the owner three times. He says the business closed early for multiple days. Now in this moment we need extreme measures. We're sick and tired of black, of black people being shot by the police gun and we're sick and tired of economically suffering too. So this is what it is and you can't do business in the city if you're not going to support black employees. I tried contacting the owner and the corporate office Wednesday and Thursday without luck. Today, I received this statement from corporate on behalf of the owner. He says in part, I take accusations of discrimination and racial injustice very seriously. That's why I reached out to several leaders in the community, including the protest organizer, the NAACP, and local pastors to better understand the issues at hand. We had a healthy meeting Wednesday night, and I learned a lot. In a press release on Thursday, the Portsmouth NAACP said Chick-fil-A corporate has developed a team of black executives that they will work with on this issue. In addition, they have immediate follow-up meetings with corporate to continue to make demands until they're satisfied with conditions. Boyd says as of now they are suspending their protest there but are still encouraging community members not to spend any money there until they can ensure that conditions are safe. You can read the owner's full statement and the press release over on wavy.com. I'm Aisha Tolverton on your side.